teacher says, your child doesn't talk, not a word in class. To which she says, she may be like her mother. To the daughter she says, but if you don't want, don't talk. Preserving a word is preserving memory. A less word expended through the tongue can well up inside like a reservoir of clamp, a river swell. It can change your mind on things, eventually everything, pivoting worldview or perspective. A word unspoken can become love unexpressed, a disguise for impoliteness, a silence swear word, camouflage a brain. No one would know what you think or on whose side you are. It passes for grace points of wisdom, ultra intelligence. A curse un uninflicted, a promise ungiven, a prayer ungifted. But then, a word said might also cause context, a trigger, a revolution. It might awaken someone's senses, break a daydream or a spell. A spiral infected story of crime or the door to seeking justice. It might create nostalgia for you or to the listener of stupid, silly things. You can carve a life out of a word only if it becomes a continuous voice. And the last one, chance and control. If to not get raped, you carry a gun, it firing might be more unprecedented than the apathy of policemen. The nurse that checks you for blood or semen, more than the inertness of a judicial system or the media that uses your name in print. You could keep the gun in your bag, but what if the rapists got to it first, before they got their fingers into your clothes? Remember the lady who sat in her rapist car? and thought of opening its door a second after he had central locked it, a second after two of his friends got into the back seat. One has to be super quick in flipping the dice, the coin. The face of safety and danger lie not on either side, but are overlapping and morphing, like the phases of the moon. It just depends on which side of the fortnight you are. It is in the dusting of shirt, collecting broken shards, enjoying your before and after parts, blurring lines, freezing three disbelieving hours, days, years, from spreading into 30 living decades. Now when you walk down that road, you will have a gun inside your head. You can't throw caution to the wind, walk with joyous abandon, or stride with stars in your eyes. Those are simply not your cliches. But not scarring after bruising, not losing proportion, not diluting, not stopping, is the luck you have in your hands. More than a fluctuating gods, sometimes fiction, sometimes real grace, more than anything you could give yourself. Thank you.